सो गाइज आफ्टर आई रिलीज दैट वीडियो ऑन हाउ टू अर्न मनी आफ्टर एमबीबीएस मेनी ऑफ यू आर राइटिंग टू मी की सर उधर तक वेट नहीं करना हम लोगों को हाउ डू यू मेक मनी नाउ ड्यूरिंग एमबीबीएस अभी क्या भी चाहिए पैसा इतना पैसा खर्च हो रहा है तो थोड़ा सा हमें भी मिल जाए वेल देर आर वेज एक्चुअली एंड आई एम गोट अ शेयर फोर मेन वेज ऑफ हाउ यू कैन अर्न मनी ड्यूरिंग योर एम बी बी एस और बी डी एस और एनी अंडर ग्रेजुएट ट्रेनिंग एंड हेयर इज हाउ guys end of another opd and uh, one thing i thought to myself is that you know uh, once or twice in a month i'll take some time and uh, share some information with you because it looks like you may find this useful and plus wo comedy wagar to chalta rehta hai thoda gyan ki baatein bhi honi chahiye but today i'm going to share with you uh, during your under graduation how can you earn money but before i share these four ways please remember abhi aapko qualification degree kuch mila nahi hai ठीक है, सो टू अर्न मनी यू हैव टू बी अटल ऑन्टरप्रनोरियल यू हैव टू गो लिटल आउट ऑफ द वे यू के नॉट बी एट दैट स्टेट दैट यार हमारे पास क्यों नहीं आ रहे पैसा पैसा देने लोग क्यों नहीं आ रहे वाई आई वी नॉट गेटिंग वर्क बिकॉज यू हैव टू बी अट ऑपरचुनिस्टिक हेयर एंड क्रिएट सम ऑपरचुनिटीज एंड इट्स एब्सोलूटली पॉसिबल टू अर्न सम मनी वाई यू डू योर एम बी बी एस फोर थिंग्स फर्स्ट थिंग दैट यू कैन डू इज बिकम अ मेडिकल राइटर एंड यू आर ऑलरेडी स्टडिंग मेडिसिन you're already in the hospital uh, where there are patients there are diseases and you are in very close uh, you know association with doctors and professors writing is something that you can absolutely do and uh, being a medical writer is in a lot of uh, demand so the first thing that you need to do is get a few publications during your mbbs yes it's possible and it's very easy also all you need to do is um, go to a department of your choice find that professor who is a little more inclined into writing papers and रिसर्च एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट ये लोग ये जो डॉक्टर्स हैं सीनियर प्रोफेसर हैं इनके जो खुद के स्टूडेंट्स होते हैं ना ये भागते हैं उनसे दे डोंट वॉन्ट टू यू नो राइट पेपर्स फॉर देम दे पी जी इज देर इंटर्न ऑल बिजी विथ वर्क यू गैस स्टडिंग यू हैव टाइम यू कैन गो एंड ऑफर यू नो टू देम सेम दैट सर आई एम वेरी इंटरेस्टेड इन राइटिंग पेपर्स एंड रिसर्च कैन आई को ऑथर पेपर्स विथ यू दे बी मोर देन हैप्पी टू गिव यू सम आइडियाज गिव यू सम डेटा एंड हेल्प यू राइट सम पेपर्स बिकॉज द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट यू हैव टू डू बिफोर यू टेक अप अ रोल और अ जॉब Uh, even part time as a medical writer is to establish that something you have written and the best way is to work with some of the professors become co-authors maybe third fourth author doesn't matter write some papers with them and it won't take too long you can usually write a good paper within a month or two and if there's a good professor that will teach you how to do it you'll also learn how to do it uh, so that later on you have more value for it once you have these three or four publications i had during my undergraduate as well uh, once you have three or four publications make sure that you have a good linkedin profile with the links to these papers if possible make a website it's not very expensive to make a website 10 15000 rupees you can get a good website basic one made which has your blogs or it has some of these Uh, uh you know uh, samples of your writing work some papers that you have uh, published if they're in good journals even better and then is when you start trying to monetize this by offering yourself as a medical writer or a researcher and the place that you have to go for is in, on linkedin uh look for health informatic companies or medical informatic companies they're always looking for medical writers and researchers show your portfolio and uh, offer to be a writer for them on a regular basis and this can pay you quite well anywhere between uh, 15000 rupees to 25000 rupees per paper or they could take you on a monthly retainer for your part time uh, you know spending of you know your time that spent in writing these papers it could be 25 30000 sometimes 50000 depending upon the healthcare informatic company if it's indian company thoda kam denge if it's a global international company they may pay you quite uh, well as well so make sure that uh, you apply for these uh, uh, you know particular roles health informatics medical informatics other thing that you can do is you can uh, approach healthcare startup companies a lot of startup companies are doing a lot of ground breaking research they don't have the people to write it for them and they also have to document and write right things like they have to apply for grants grant writing uh, they have to uh, write about their products in blogs uh, they have to write about the products on quora on platforms like those so make sure that you write a lot of answers on quora to also show your ability to write and uh, and approach these startup companies where to find them well my own platform hi if you download the app h triple i h on google store or play store has a database of some 200 plus uh, startups but even if you google a lot of healthcare startup companies you can just write to them saying that you know i'm i'm willing to write for you about your any research or about your product and uh, and usually startups will be able to pay you 
five, ten thousand rupees, fifteen thousand rupees. Uh, to write something for them. There are other platforms. Uh, Hi, my platform itself, people look for each other and offer each other jobs. Uh, that's a free thing. Uh, you know, you can just register yourself uh, as a medical writer, and if somebody needs medical writing support, uh, they will reach out to you. But otherwise, uh, you can go to this platform called Work and Hire. W O R K N H I R E dot com, and register yourself as a freelancer who is able to do writing. Uh, maybe if you have some abilities to do some coding, designing, you can. Also sell those services as well, but writing, writing and research, uh, writing, proofreading, all of these kind of things in medical, um, you know, related topics you can do and earn some money. The second thing that you can do is you can teach. Yes, because it's fresh in your mind. You know, your first year MBBS, second year MBBS, third year MBBS, you can teach. You can in teaching, you can locally start your own coaching. Um, I know some of my seniors during my MBBS used to do their own coaching in their hostel rooms. You know, uh, something like thousand rupees or two thousand rupees a month. It would take a few sessions. Um, if you have five ten students, that's pretty pretty decent earning. You can even charge uh, more if you like. Um, but your juniors who know that you have good knowledge, uh, you know, with your notes and your ability to teach, you can start your own local coaching uh, to your undergrad students, uh, students who are junior to you, or also to NEET aspirants or MBBS aspirants locally in that city. वो भी कर सकते हो आप द सेकंड थिंग दैट यू कैन डू इज यू कैन गो टीच इन नर्सिंग कॉलेजेस एंड आई एम श्योर न्यू योर मेडिकल कॉलेज देयर आर लॉट ऑफ नर्सिंग कॉलेजेस नर्सिंग कॉलेजेस ऑफन नीड पीपल टू टीच एंड जनरली एंड मेडिकल स्टूडेंट्स हु हैव अ लॉट ऑफ फ्रेश एनाटॉमी एंड फिजियोलॉजी नॉलेज बायोकेमिस्ट्री नॉलेज बिकम वेरी गुड डायरेक्ट टीचर्स आई नो सम ऑफ माय फ्रेंड्स हु हैव डन दिस ड्यूरिंग द एमबीबीएस कोचिंग टाइम जब यू नो मैं मटर गस्ती करता था बट ये लोग नर्सिंग कॉलेजेस में टीचिंग करके आते थे Uh, they used to get paid, uh, I think, per lecture, thousand five hundred or two thousand that time. Uh, but I think if you are on a retainer, uh, you can you can probably get a good twenty twenty five thousand rupees per month also. Um, and uh, that is something uh, that you can explore. Uh, all these online coaching platforms, you know, the ones that you know, the Un Academies and Prep Ladders and uh, uh, your Marrows, all of these also look for people who constantly want to teach. Uh, they have a system also where you can sign up as a as someone who can teach and unka bhi ek process hota you can explore um, those as well you can do it on youtube also however youtube earnings happen very little and over a very long period of time but yeah just like a publication nikal ke apna portfolio banate ho aap apni teaching abilities ka portfolio youtube pe bana sakte ho and uh, you can always do an online uh, you know coaching on zoom uh, you know if you have social media platforms like instagram twitter uh facebook and linkedin keep releasing small trivia keep building attention to the audience keep proving ki aapke paas ha knowledge hai ability hai and then release uh, some sort of crash course one day course or two day course or or maybe weekly sessions on different medical topics and uh, to keep a small registration fee of 100 200 or 300 aapke paas 10 15 students bhi aa jate hain regularly uh, that keeps for some recurrent uh, income and once you get more popular you can make packages and charge your own uh, teaching a uh, lot higher than that uh, so that's another thing that you can explore uh, the third thing that you can do is you can work in clinics because agar aap bol theek se nahi sakte aur lick theek se nahi sakte then first of all explore a surgical uh, role but also then look at hands on activities uh, and hands on activities uh, find a local uh, clinic there must be some doctor sitting there who has a lot of patients can you know really help uh, or, or can be really help with your uh, you know support and time Uh, so I've done this. Uh, in fact, during my MBBS times, I used to sit with uh, some clinicians who are running their practices in the evening, um, and I used to help them with writing their notes, uh, you know, jotting down points, sometimes taking some data and writing some papers for them, assisting them in their procedures, uh, handling their uh, you know OPDs, managing um, you know the workflow of the patients. We weren't allowed to treat, uh, but you get to you know. Uh, Uh, assist them support them and sometimes they would give you 10 to 15% of their earnings per day and sometimes i have earned up to 5 to 7000 rupees per day uh, you know assisting and supporting uh, some very busy clinician so always look at that opportunity and and you know it's it's not competitive people don't go out of their way medical students don't go out of their way and reach out to professors reach out to clinicians reach out to startups reach out to health informatics companies offering them uh, you know their uh, their expertise so it is easy if you but you have to try in multiple places and somewhere uh, it will click 
ठीक है बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ दी अदर पीपल आप बैठ के पढ़ रहे हैं और वेट करें कि लोग हमें रीच आउट करेंगे आप रीच आउट करोगे आप अपॉर्चुनिटीज ले सकते हो एंड द फोर्थ एंड फाइनल थिंग दैट यू कैन डू टू अर्न मनी इज यू कैन ऑर्गेनाइज कैंप्स कैंप कोऑर्डिनेटर्स कैन अर्न एनी वे बिटवीन टेन टू फिफ्टी फिफ्टीन टेन टू फिफ्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज फॉर ऑर्गेनाइजिंग कैंप्स इन योर एरियाज एंड सिंस यूर अ मेडिकल स्टूडेंट यू हैव एक्सेस यू नो टू हॉस्पिटल्स यू हैव एक्सेस टू पेशेंट्स यू कैन कोऑर्डिनेट uh camps facilitate uh you know them and you know if you organize your fests and all of these events is the same organization skills that you need get in touch with a local ngo nearby jo regularly uh, you know some of the other camp awareness camp ho ya screening camp ho um ya surgical tubectomy camps ho ya whatever camps are there uh, try to initially be an observer help out a bit try to understand what it takes to become an organizer and then support these doctors who are running these camps ngos that are running these camps and become coordinators um all of these four things will not really hinder in your preparation for neat pg or preparation as a doctor because they are all related to medicine you are writing about medicine medical topics you are uh, teaching medical topics you are uh, helping uh, doctors in their medical practice you are conducting medical camps so you are only going to learn a lot of hands on experience and you are also going to learn a lot of soft skills on how to be entrepreneurial and how to uh, you know earn money how to uh, negotiate and how to uh, you know basically survive uh, with some income while you continue studying and i think that's a great way to do things i've always worked uh, there has been no time ki mai aise hi baith ke ek saal padhai ki aise mujhe hoti nahi thi lekin kaam karte karte thoda padhai karo to mere liye better hota tha because i used to get a lot of practical exposure which i learn and remember more while i would study i would have more interest kyunki i am in the practical space and i also want to apply that so with that guys you can earn money uh, during uh, mbbs using your medical expertise and uh, let me know if you want me to share anything else about this take care bye bye